Okay, so I have real numbers. Okay, out of those real numbers, I have irrational numbers and I have rational numbers. Rational numbers are real numbers and irrational numbers are real numbers. What are the difference in these two? Well, irrational numbers are decimals that are non-terminating and non-repeating. Okay, I bet you're wondering, what does that mean? A repeating decimal, well, let's say if I have the number one-third. Well, one-third, that's a rational number. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But if I put that in my calculator, 1 divided by 3, I will get 0 0.3333. It's repeating. We see an irrational number is non-repeating. It wouldn't do that. Another rational number, and we will talk about this in a minute, is like 5 divided by 2. That is a rational number. It is a fraction. Rational, ratio, it's a fraction. Well, 5 over 2 is the same thing as 2 and a half, which is, as a decimal, it is 2.5. It terminates. It stops. It's 2.5. Okay, so real numbers are divided into rational numbers and irrational numbers. Irrational numbers, non-terminating, whereas rational numbers, if it's a decimal, it will terminate. Non-repeating. Well, rational numbers, that could be 0.33333, but irrational numbers are non-repeating. What I need to talk about is rational numbers have a lot of little groups in there. So that is what we're going to focus on now, rational numbers. Okay, let's start with our most elite group, the natural numbers or the counting numbers. Natural numbers, or how would you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I could go on and on and on. Then I expand my group. I invite one more person to my party. I invite zero to my party. You see zero there? These are the whole numbers. The natural numbers, but when I get to the whole numbers, I put zero in. So zero is invited to my party. If we want to have a little bigger party, not only do we invite the natural numbers, one, two, three. Not only do we let the whole numbers come, which are zero and the natural numbers, but we even let the integers come. So notice that the integers, you have the counting numbers, one, two, three. You also have zero, so that's the whole number group. But we also let negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, dot, 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 all the way to negative infinity. We let the integers come too. Okay, so y'all got it so far? The natural numbers, one, two, three, four, five, whole numbers, we let zero come too. The integers, not only do we have the natural numbers and zero, but we also have the negatives. Those are the integers, and we will be working with those a lot in algebra. Well, if you are quite the party animal, you may just think the more the merrier and you want the rational numbers to come. Well, let me make room on my screen. Okay, so now we are inviting the rational numbers. Now, I can't even tell you how many rational numbers there are. But the rational numbers are also known as fractions. So 1 over 2, 3 over 5, negative 12 over 3. Now, the rational numbers don't get to come unless it's a, a really big party. Okay, but do you notice that 5 is the same thing as 10 over 2? 10 divided by 2 is 5, right? So the number 5, 5 gets invited to the party every time because it's a natural number. Now the whole numbers also include 5. So do the integers, even though you can't see it here because I put dot, dot, dot. And it's a rational number. So if you are a natural number, a counting number, then you are a whole number and an integer and a rational number, a.k.a. a fraction. If you're a whole number, most of them are natural numbers except for zero. But if you're a whole number, then you're also an integer and also a rational number. If you are an integer, well, look here. Look at negative 12 over 3. Isn't negative 12 divided by 3? See that? That is just negative 4, right? So if you're an integer, 
Now, some of the integers are natural numbers and whole numbers, but some of them, like negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, they're in the integer group, but then they're also in the rational group. Starting with 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the counting numbers or natural numbers. If I add 0 to it, I am to the whole numbers. Then if I add negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, I am to the integers. But then if I even add fractions, well, that 10 over 2 is the same thing as 5. Negative 12 over 3, that's the same thing as negative 4. Even if you think about the number 2, 2 is a rational number because it can be expressed in the form 2 over 1. A rational number can be expressed as a fraction. And 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. But also included in the rational numbers are those numbers like 1 half. Or the numbers 4 thirds. What is 4 thirds? 4 thirds is 1 and 1 third. So yes, 4 thirds, it will go a little bit past the 1, but not before the 2. The 2, if I want to express that as a fraction, it can also be expressed as 6 over 3. That is 2. Ooh, this is getting messy. You know, I majored in math, not in art. Okay, maybe this is a little bit better now. So if 1 is 3 over 3, and 2 is 6 over 3, then 4 over 3 goes somewhere between the 1 and the 2, right? Where would 3 fifths go? Well, that's still less than 1, so that goes over here. Okay, so let's finish this video. We have the real numbers. In the real numbers, you have some irrational numbers, and then you have some rational numbers. In the rational numbers, now those are the numbers that are fractions. Rational numbers are also known as fractions. But in there, you also have integers. And the integers are all the counting numbers, zero, and negative numbers. But then our group gets even more elite. And instead of the integers, then we get to include the whole numbers. So if you're a whole number, you're an integer, and you're also a rational number, and you're also part of the real numbers. Okay, and then we have the most elite group. Those are the natural numbers. So zero is not invited to this party. And that is the natural numbers there. Okay, so once again, if you are a natural number, you are a real number. You are a rational number. You are an integer. You are a whole number. You are a natural number. Good luck with your definitions in algebra.